Okay, so in the last video, we added our project to Visual Studio Code, and we installed an extension, the live server extension, and then we also set autosave. We toggled that on. So we truly have a live development server. Now, in this video, we're going to go ahead and configure Python. Now, let's flip over to Google, and we're going to go ahead and download the latest version of Python. Now, Here's the deal. If you have Python installed already, you want to make sure you're at this version, 3.8 or higher. If you have 3.7, you're going to get a few compile errors, and it would really take too much time to explain how to fix those. I know how to fix them, but again, it would just take too much time. So if you have 3.7, I highly recommend that you upgrade to 3.8.1, and things will go a lot smoother for you. It's not that it won't work. It actually still will work, but you'll just get some strange errors. I think that it's missing scripts or something. So so let's go ahead and put on 3.8.1. And after you're done with that, just go ahead and install it. Okay, so we can go ahead and close this out and we're gonna go ahead and flip back to the editor. Now we need to go back to extensions and we need to look for the Python extension, which is right here. And you just go ahead and install that. Okay, once it's been installed, we can go ahead and flip back to Explore, and we're going to go to our Python project. I told you there was a reason we created this folder. And what we're going to do is right-click on that and hit New File. And we're just going to call this test.py. Very simple. There we go. And anytime you get prompted to install something, I usually just go ahead and install it. So there we go. Pretty simple. And that's going to take a little bit. And then let's go ahead and just set a very simple variable here. And we'll just print this out. And then let's go ahead and execute it up here. And there you see, we got 10. Don't worry about some of these warnings you get. You may get some of these warnings early on. Don't worry about those. The main thing is when you execute your Python code, you don't want to see any of these warnings. And just to be sure, let's go ahead and execute it again. And there you can see we didn't get any more warnings. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you.